This is a demonstration of a mercury vapour lamp and also a fluorescent lamp that uses mercury vapour and converts the ultraviolet light into visible with fluorescent coating. What you're seeing at the moment is just a spectrum from a mercury vapour lamp and we can change the slit size there. We can see there's lots of, well there's some red and, and orange and a bit of green and quite a lot of blue over to the right. If I do move over to the right a bit you should be able to see some, some quite a lot of blue over there and if you move further over and if you could detect it you'd find lots and lots of ultraviolet from the excited mercury vapour. Now what we can see is the setup that we've got and we've got the spectrometer with a 300 line per millimetre grating and we've got this Geisler tube with excited mercury vapour and 5000 volts going across that. It's a pretty harsh violet colour not suitable for, for domestic lighting uh, because I guess there's not enough reds and oranges in there but there's lots of ultraviolet so that ultraviolet can be utilised um, and using uh, a lamp like this with a fluorescent coating on the inside the ultraviolet photons from the excited mercury vapour are absorbed by the fluorescent coating again excitation and de-excitation this time results in uh, visible photons being given off but lots more photons given off in the regions that we would want and I'll show you that in action because I'm going to replace this lamp now with the the um, energy saving so I'll move that out of the way and I'll switch this one on so what we're going to do is shield the spectrometer the lights and go around the sides and hopefully I can get the light directed onto the slit from the mercury lamp like this okay so it's got this screen here and then the spectrometer in the same position as before and let's see what happens if we look at this spectrum there we are so that's beautiful but it's a bit brighter isn't it and therefore I'm going to close the slit down a bit there we are so it's so you can see now the individual lines there and um, what we notice is that there's a lot more of the red and orange light you just move over there look at all that red and orange light and I that's the ultraviolet photons from the mercury and from, from that we, we couldn't see before being converted into lots of visible light it's giving that kind of warm tone because of all of that red and orange light that wasn't there in the emission spectrum from the mercury itself and if you go across there is also blue and there's that nice blue line there and there's even more over to the right perhaps okay so that's a beautiful spectrum from the fluorescent lamp so that's a, a quick demonstration of how to set that up and how to show it students can use their mobile phones to take nice pictures as well it's quite straightforward to just point your phone at the um, down the spectrometer and take some some pictures.